I'm going to show you how to calibrate a microscope. It's really simple and it doesn't require any adjustment to the microscope itself. We'll be using one of these, a stage micrometer. It's a small ruler which allows us to check the microscope's measurements are true. Once we know the microscope is calibrated, we can then calculate the real size of an object. Let's explore the components of a microscope in a little more detail. Here are the objective magnification lenses with an optical path leading to the eyepiece lenses. Inside this optical path from the subject stage is a prism, which allows me to view the object from overhead at a comfortable viewing angle. In the eyepiece is a location to install a measurement reticule. This is normally positioned before the eyepiece magnification lenses and it is this measurement scale that we need to calibrate to verify its accuracy. Most compound microscopes allow us to change between different magnifications, normally on a rotating turret. Using a magnification will make objects appear larger. I'm using a times 5 objective magnification and introducing a scale reticle into the eyepiece. We have another video which explains how to size and fit an eyepiece reticule on our website. As an example, let's take a spider, the body of which measures between 40 and 60 unit marks on the reticle scale. Therefore, it's around 20 units. By increasing the magnification to times 10, the spider now appears much larger against our scale reticule. But obviously it hasn't grown in size, it just looks bigger. In order to use our microscope accurately, we must therefore need to find out what size the eyepiece reticule is measuring at each magnification. I've got a couple of stage micrometers here. They're the same size as a standard microscope slide. On the glass disc, we have a small, precision, fine line scale image. This professional stage micrometer comes in its own wooden box with a unique serial number which makes it ideal for certification as an international calibration artifact. My second stage micrometer has an identical pattern on the glass disc but this time in the centre of a lower cost black aluminium carrier. The advantage of these carriers is durability, should it be accidentally dropped or damaged. Stage micrometers come in different sizes and lengths you should choose a scale that best matches the scale of your reticule and the object magnification you're using. In order to fully calibrate your microscope, you should carry out this procedure for each of the objective magnifications, or you could just limit that calibration to the magnification you require. We're going to use the times 10 objective with an eyepiece reticule which is 10 millimeters in 100 divisions, and a stage micrometer that is one millimeter scale length. Placing the stage micrometer onto the subject stage and finding the focus, we can see the best match between the two. We need to align the scales one over the other, moving the stage micrometer so the zeros align on the left-hand side correctly. However, the stage micrometer finishes here, while the reticle scale is a little longer. This means we have a mismatch or calibration error. We know the staged micrometer is one millimeter long with 100 divisions, each of 10 microns. If 100 divisions are one millimeter, then half of that, 50 divisions, is half a millimeter. The reticle scale inside the microscope also has 100 divisions. And with our example of a times 10 objective, and a 10 millimeter reticule, the one millimeter micrometer should match exactly. And if we bring them together, they do, apart from a small error towards the end, here. 99 reticle units or divisions match perfectly, which means 99 is equivalent to one millimeter in length. Therefore, for this objective, we can calculate the size measured by dividing one millimeter by 99, which equals to 10.1 microns per reticle division. So let's put this into practice with a sample of this zooplankton. I'm going to measure the width of the body, 
which we can see measures 35 reticle divisions. As we've calibrated our microscope on the times 10 objective, using the 100 division scale, we know each division is 10.1 microns, or 0.0101 millimetres. Therefore, 35 times 0.0101 millimetres equals 0.3535 millimetres, or a little over 350 microns. There are many different models of stage micrometer with different scale lengths and patterns. Whether buying something off the shelf or custom made to meet your own measurement requirements, they all have one thing in common, to help you calibrate your microscope accurately. The scales and lines are manufactured to a very high standard with great precision and accuracy. But how do you know the stage micrometer is correct? You'll remember earlier when I showed you this stage micrometer, I mentioned it had a unique serial number. This means the product can come with an internationally traceable calibration certificate. This is a must have for meeting ISO or quality standards. Every stage micrometer can be verified by a laboratory which adheres to the ISO 17025 standard, who will issue a certificate to accompany the stage micrometer. A typical certificate might look like this one, with the accreditation symbol, UCAS in this case, laboratory number, serial number, its recalibration date, and most importantly, a table of measurement results.